Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reaver. This time I'm showing you something from Buildcraft. It is the Buildcraft Pump. And this is one of the most useful machines in Buildcraft. And for this you'll need a Buildcraft tank and a mining well. Place them like that and you get a pump. And you place the pump over any kind of liquid, so there's water, lava or oil, and it'll extend the pipe downwards. And to get it to work, you have to power it with redstone engines or steam engines. Provide it with Billcraft power. Very slowly at first, it will begin to pump water out. The way it works is it takes the liquid blocks out of the world and puts them into an adjacent tank or adjacent waterproof pipes. There you go. It has finished that, so now it, the pipe is extending further down. And that is one bucket's worth, one block's worth of water. And it'll continue to do this until the pipe reaches the very bottom and it'll continue until it has drained all of the water into any available space. If there is no space, it will not drain the water. This includes space within pipes, which I'll show later. So you can drain an entire supply, an entire lake. You can even drain the ocean if you have a pump and enough space for the liquid to go. As you can pump lava, a good way to get a reliable source of lava for your geothermal generator is to pump it out of a volcano and you place the pump directly over the middle of the volcano because right down the middle of the volcano is a single shaft of lava that goes almost down to bedrock. You can also place the geothermal generator directly adjacent to the pump to uh, supply it with lava directly without having to go through pipes or tanks. The last thing you can pump directly is oil and it is by far the best way to drain any source of oil, whether it's an oil well like this, or an oil geyser. In either case, you just place it over the deepest part, which in a pool could be anywhere, but in a geyser is the highest point of the geyser, and it'll then proceed to drain the entire supply. Be warned though, if the geyser is in water, you'll need a second tank adjacent to the pump or connected via pipes to the pump for water to get out, otherwise you could accidentally clog your system. While there are few uses for water in any great quantity, it's always best to stockpile any lava or oil you find so that they're easier to access when you need them. There are some recipes later on that require buckets of lava and there are some buildcraft machines that require oil to power. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube mail or comment, and I shall endeavour to take a crack at them. Bye-bye.